In today's unit circle survival guide, let's find the exact value of sine of 5 pi over 6. And we'll use the SARC method. So here's the method outline. We first sketch the angle. That's the S. The A helps you think of ASTC, which will help you decide the sine of your final answer. The R stands for reference triangle and angle so that you can find the correct coordinates to work with. And then the C is for calculate. You'll calculate your trig ratio. So let's do this for sine of 5 pi over 6. So let's start by sketching the angle, 5 pi over 6. So we know that this is less than one full rotation. We know that would be 2 pi in radians. And we also know that it's counterclockwise rotation because it's a positive angle. So I like to start labeling just 0, pi over 2, and here would be pi. Or another way to write that would be 6 pi over 6. And I think that's really helpful so that you can see that 5 pi over 6 must fall about right here. So our angle's terminal side is going to be in the second quadrant. Now we can use ASTC to decide if our final answer should be positive or negative. And that goes back to where we found our angle. So that's in the second quadrant. Now ASTC is an acronym to help you think of which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. Think all students take classes. So start in quadrant one, all students take classes. And these letters just tell you which trig functions are positive. So all are positive in the first. The second, which is the one we care about for this, sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. All the others would be negative. So that gives us our final answer being a positive value. And let's go ahead and make a note of that. If your angle's in the third quadrant, only tangent and cotangent are positive. And in the fourth, only cosine and secant are positive. All right, now that we have that, we're ready to move on to our reference triangle. So our reference triangle, we find by first finding our reference angle. And that's simply the amount of rotation from our angle's terminal side to the x-axis. So here from 5 pi over 6 to 6 pi over 6, we know is just a pi over 6 rotation. And that corresponds to our special right triangle that is a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And this is going to help us get the coordinates to work with. So we want these coordinates right here. And from our special right triangle knowledge, we've looked at this in the past, we know that the coordinates that correspond with this triangle on the unit circle are square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. And that's because the longer leg in this case is horizontal. And now we're ready to calculate. So we know that the sine of an angle on the unit circle is just the y coordinate. We don't really need to calculate here. We know it's going to be the y coordinate. And don't forget to look back at step two. That tells you if the sine should be positive or negative. So we know that the sine of 5 pi over 6 must be positive 1 half. And that's all there is to it. Check out the links in the video description for more worked examples. And if you need help with any of the concepts within these steps, I'll post a link for unit circle basics as well. Thanks for watching.